Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Mezco's Hazard Squad Gomez. It came with the Bodega box that I showed off what came with it uh, a while ago. And that just sort of shows how backlogged I am, so a little bit behind. But we get this awesome packaging that it comes with. It has like a sleeve that has artwork wrapped around. So you can see where it says H Squad and it wraps around to the left side of the box. It does have the Mezco exclusive sticker up there, sort of hidden in the shadows. And the artwork, again, just wraps around. Continuing with the artwork that wraps around the left side of the box, we got ourselves Boom Boom carried by a pigeon. We got Hazard Squad Gomez. On the right side of the box, we just have Hazard Squad Gomez charging into battle. With the sleeve taken off, you got that H Squad all in color wrapping around the packaging. On the left side of the box, we got this window that sort of simulates a window that's peering into this box as if the box is a facility. And you got Hazard Squad Gomez geared up, and it looks like he's getting some information from his little cybernetic gauntlet. Now opening the package, just opens up, it's magnetic. Got that, it's got some little slots here. Let me open this up. And as you can see, the whole inside is decked out in little gears and imagery because this turns into a dio and then you got this danger void chamber and does this open up like a door it does and you got yourself your hazard squad gomez right there all trade up and wrapped in plastic with all his accessories just like all the other 112 collective mezco figures you get a little bag to store all the goodies from the figure we also get the hazard squad labeled stand and with those stands you get the dynamic attachment so you can do some jump kicks or flying or whatever and then we get the part that you usually get to fluff out a cape um I think this is for the pigeons before diving into the figure i wanted to take a look at the diorama that the box turns into which looks awesome straight ahead we got the danger void chamber now inside the void chamber there's tons of little details but you got that screen that looks like gomez would be talking to the void i would assume that these three are the void and i mean it looks pretty awesome it literally looks like uh reminds me of the watchers now looking to the right of the facility, you got the chemistry lab, which has a bunch of chemistry beakers, all that cool stuff, electronics, and then does say danger, God molecule storage area, which I would assume that uh, the little black spot right there is a God molecule. And then it also says medical, which is cool. And then you can see at the bottom, Mezco did do their best. They gave us some floor panels. So, you know, you can have a little bit more consistent with your shots. And then we got eight of these little panels which those little panels are pretty cool because that's weapon storage and we get a couple sort of racks of these can't really see because it's out of blurry uh little pegs and stuff so you can actually use them for the actual weapon storage so that's pretty cool that we're going to be able to set up our gomez in this little facility and have weapons mounted up on the walls and everything so it's really cool these things though uh they're just it's a really they're a pain in the butt once you start popping them in some pop out it's just uh there's no really happy medium you just got to be very careful as you're trying to pop them in trying to get in here so you can see all the details but i know i'm going to be missing stuff so i mean hopefully you pick this this figure up because there's tons of little details they put into this and one of the things that we get which was just i guess a prop we got ourselves a like computer storage box type of thing um looks pretty cool it's got like a vent and stuff but i mean it is a box i'm sure you could probably 3d print or probably customize this to make it look a little bit better but you just sort of tuck it down there and use it however you want but i mean i love all the little gadgets on the walls in the back Wanted to put some focus on this little side panel here because one, the monitors at the top show the Hazard Squad members, but then we have that giant green screened monitor where not only did Mezco give us the weapon storage, a little prop that we put together, the floor panels, 
but we do get interchangeable screens so you can have your you know hazard squad member or anybody that's using this dio looking at something different besides a green screen so that's really cool that we get that and speaking of green screen you could probably like put your own video stuff over there too which would be pretty cool um we do get you know get them watching stealth ops gomez maybe in a different timeline we got uh the pigeon giving them some recon back on agent gomez So it's really cool that they gave us these. Get some more cool little, I don't know, looks like some sort of rift. Now this one's stuck. Oh no. There it goes. <laughs> some of them can be a challenge. And then you got uh, Lone Roach. Looks like, and, and Grub fighting a bunch of vampires. Nonetheless, but not least, you get some sort of like molecule. So I think that's a really cool thing that they added. So for any of you that may not have dioramas or have uh, no people that make them and stuff like that, like this is just a really cool way of having your own dio. You can have fun with it. You can get some good photos with it. And it doesn't look bad on display. Now we did get a sticker sheet and this is for whatever you really want to use it for. Um, probably looks like it'd be stickers you'd put on the dio and stuff like that, but still really cool stuff like no dumping cats, warning feed a pigeon, lose a finger. You know, they always have fun with their stickers. Hazard Squad Gomez comes with all the typical Gomez hands. Gomez comes with a flying rat, also known as a pigeon, and the sculpt work in this thing is pretty good. Paint's pretty clean. The fading from color to, you know, to the other colors look great. It looks it looks awesome. Like I like even the fading from the tail. It's got little bird feet. It's got a little bird butthole for pooping. Now if one flying rat wasn't enough, we do get another one, and this one has its wings out like it's flying away or flustered. But uh they added buttholes to both of them. But they did add some nice sculpt and paintwork to these guys, and this is awesome. Like Having pigeons is, is I'm like, <laughs> looking at it, some people might find it a little bit dumb, but I mean, these are things that can be used with figure photography heavily, heavily, like, they're pigeons, good for background, you know, in case you have a couple of these, you can have them mauling somebody, I mean, it's, it's fun accessories like this that make the action figures fun. I almost forgot about these bendy wires. So these go in the buttholes of the pigeons, um, the ones at least with these little plastic caps, because these get plugged into that weird piece that attaches to the stand. And then we get one that doesn't have a plastic cap at all, and that's for the gauntlet that Hazard Squad comes with, which I'll be showing you in a second. Weaponry-wise, we get a pair of smiley, goofy grenades. And I don't know if, what they do, if they explode or they are gas. They're like laughing gas or something. But these things are sculpted pretty nice, painted very, very clean as well. Gomez comes with a futuristic looking pistol and it's all silver. It's got a little peg hole to put a blast effect, but the figure did not come with the blast effect at all. One of my favorite weapons that Gomez comes with is this giant like Bowie knife. It's got nice sculpt work in the handle. I love the blue they painted. It's got serrated edges. It's a pretty gnarly looking knife. And they did a really great job with it. Here we got Hazard Squad Gomez's gauntlet. And this thing is painted very well. Tons of sculpt work in it. The thing looks awesome. It's even hinged because you're going to open it up and clasp it on his wrist. And we got a hole there. I mean, I mean, this thing is pretty much like Batman's utility belt with all the functionality that this thing has. The first functionality we get out of this gauntlet is a grappling hook. It's got some optics there, sculpted in detail all over it. We got the grapple, which looks awesome. And what's crazy, I mean, it's not really crazy, but a cool feature is the grapple is a separate piece. So it just ports in, ports out. And if you don't want that on there, very easy to unplug. But we do get a pair of grapples that are attached to each other by a lot of string. 
I'm telling you guys, the functionality of this gauntlet is pretty amazing. We get the pizza cutter mode, so you can slice up your pizza, but no, that's not really the case. It looks like it, but this piece actually fits in nice and snug, and it's sort of designed like this because for that grappling hook that has the rope attached, you can rig both sides up nice and tight, and you can use this to actually get your Gomez to hang from the rope. Now, one of my favorite attachments for this gauntlet is this hologram. It's just being projected up. It's in that translucent, like, light green plastic. And you can even see an outline of a person in there. I think this thing's awesome. Like, I wish more toys and action figures came with stuff like this. Because it's a really good way of capturing a hologram. Now, you're not going to be a Gomez without your Boom Boom. And we get a newer design to Boom Boom. It's like retro and futuristic at the same time with some gold all over it the gold g uh the handle does move out of the way where you can see the sculpted in buttons where it says you know play stop looks like record it's got a little nub for an antenna actually let me check something really quick okay that's pretty awesome so the antenna, you know, is able to extend out, which is great. That's a cool little feature they added into this little, this little guy. And uh, looks really cool. Got the brown painted there. So a lot of paint work and sculpt work into Boom Boom. And I know it has some cool features, like if you sort of use the bottom of the G, you can flip this up and you got yourself a little, little like a hidden computer, which looks very well done sculpted and painted very cleanly then we got all these little gadgets over here but if you take it and slide it up you got a little hidden compartment got some little ports in there i would assume that's where like the hose is gonna connect to the bendy wire the last feature we get with the gauntlet is a data extractor i would assume or maybe it's uploading data but you can hook it up into boom boom and into the gauntlet to do something Hazard Squad Gomez comes with the typical Gomez head attached, and again, it's always a great sculpt. Um, always looks great. Mine had like a little, looks like a little paint bubble right by the mandible there, which is uh, maybe a, a herp or a zit. But thankfully, we got extra ones of these, so I don't really have to worry about this head sculpt. And plus, he comes with two others. One of the new head sculpts that Gomez comes with is his teeth gritten pissed off looking head sculpt and i love it i like it a lot i like how this one looks it's awesome but it also has an accessory for it that i didn't show during the accessories it's a little magnet this magnetizes to his forehead as if he's doing some brain control type of stuff um and that that could piss somebody off so that could explain his expression on his face but this is an awesome head sculpt the final head sculpt that we get is the rock eyebrow raised Gomez head. The rock. So not only does the head have that rock expression, um, I had to rig my hands like this for a specific reason. It has a light up feature. It has a little button that you press and it lights up his eyes. It looks very, very cool. I like it a lot. But what sucks about it is the only way to light this up is to hold the button down. So if you're not holding it down, it doesn't light up so any of you fake photographers and stuff like that you got to rig something on the back because the little switch is not a convenient switch <laughs> it's hidden nicely but it's really really flat so you can see how much of a pain that's going to be to try to keep that you're going to probably have to rig some tape or something if you want to have some cool shots with his eyes glowing and things like that here we have a closer look at Hazard Squad Gomez, and I mean, this figure, I think a lot of us were predicting was going to come out, and a lot of us wanted it to come out, because Mezco really hinted at this figure a long, long time ago with like a Gomez ID pass when you bought one of their little like uh, exclusive baggy deals. It was like a, uh, like a con package or something that had all like the swag in it. I love that gold Gomez G. We got a holster for the gun. All these straps and pouches look pretty freaking cool. I mean, they have tons of sculpted detail, painted where they need to be painted. Uh, he's got a knife sheath right there on the back. More pouches, little hole things for his shoulders, which I would assume these are going to be for the grenades with how rounded they are. 
Then he goes down to his gray pantaloons. He's got little sculpted in or sewn in pockets. They're not going to be functional. Uh, another pouch with straps and the buckles are painted. Gray pants are pretty cool. I like the blue and gray design. And then we got ourselves some like horse riding boots. That's what I classify these boots as. Sculpted really, really well. And we got the tread on the bottom. They did not hold back on this figure. Here we have Gomez all geared up. I'm not really diving into the articulation because you're really, if you've dealt with one Gomez, you've dealt with them all and uh, they have amazing articulation. Some of the best articulation you can get in a Mezco figure. Um, but besides all that, he can hold all of his equipment, just as I predicted. He's got the pistol there, the grenades there. He's wearing his little gauntlets. And then on the back, we got the, the Blade of Doom and it's awesome. It's it's great that we get a Mezco figure that can carry and equip most of his stuff. Gomez was already expressive enough with his different hands and like tons of hands that Gomez came with that made him very expressive. But now they're starting to add expression to his head sculpt, which even takes it to a next level. And I, I love it. I really love what they're doing, and I love the fact that I can have a pissed off, angry Gomez with some weird contraption stuck to his forehead, and he's ready to shoot whoever put it on his head. Now, one thing I did notice with his uh, with his gun, it is very loose fitting in the hand. It doesn't really grip the pistol like it would like a normal pistol. I really, really like the hologram when it's coming out of the gauntlet like that. It just looks super cool. And you can get him all posed up like he's looking at it and pressing the buttons on his gauntlet and everything like that. It's wicked. I can't get enough of Gomez. I mean, it's it's probably one of the coolest IPs that Mezco has. Rumble Society is great and everything. And it's been basically influenced by the Gomez. Uh, and I... The Gomez figures that they're pumping out are pretty freaking cool. Uh, I love this grappling hook on his arm. I just love all the different functionalities that his little gauntlet has. Um, and the bodega box that he came in was just packed full of stuff as well. You can even get Gomez coming out of the void chamber all pissed off. He's like, they put this thing on my forehead. It's, it's, it's a great figure. I, I can't say it enough. I mean, when it comes to... Mezco's own IP, they put everything into it. I mean, they do some quality stuff, and it's just unfortunate. I wish it was consistent throughout everything that Mezco does. But this figure and the Gomez line, that's why I'm so heavy in the Gomez and the Rumble Society, is because they're fun figures. The articulation is some of the best, and they're usually crammed with a bunch of fun accessories. Mezco yet again has dropped a solid Gomez release. This Hazard Squad Gomez is spectacular. It's super expressive. It came with a buttload of accessories. And then even the Bodega Box came with a bunch of stuff. We get a diorama. I mean, it's awesome. It's a really fun figure to have. And I'm not disappointed at all. There, there's, it, it's, it's awesome. I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm sort of lost for words of how much fun I've been having with it. And, you know, having a void chamber now and a weapon rack system, it's it's great. And I can't say it enough. It's, it's an awesome release. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Mezco's Hazard Squad Gomez. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. New to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me. And also make sure you hit that silver bell notification so you stay in the know with when I drop a new video. And also check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. The website's there with a promo code just for you guys down below for free shipping on anything you see off that website. And there's also a Facebook pre-order group that you can join in. It's free. You join in. Keeps you in the know with collectibles as they're coming out. And if you see something that you like, you can say you want to pre-order it through Toyco because Honestly, Toyko has some of the best pre-order pricing when it comes around for a lot of his uh, releases in Toyko, such as like SH Figure Arts, Storm Collectibles, Figma, um, Mezco even. You know, definitely check out Toyko, and I want you guys to have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a beautiful day.